part two of the QRP guys DSB transceiver. Uh, on this one, we put in all the resistors, the inductor, and a couple of diodes. So stay tuned and uh, we'll get it together for you. Let's get started putting some resistors in. Okay, so we got all that set up and they're all on there nice and pretty like. And I try to make sure all the color bands line up all in the exact same direction and all of the tolerances are all on the same side and all that jazz. I try to make sure that it matches with the silk screen for no other reason than it looks pretty. They work in both directions. It kind of doesn't matter. Let's get them soldered. Okay, so one of the things about this hobby is experimenting and all the parts are now in place and I experimented with a new way of putting it on and I gotta say I don't like it. It was pretty clouded, crowded, pretty close quarters soldering. As you can see, I missed a couple, had to go back and re-solder them, but they're all on. They all look pretty good. It'll get the job done. So now I know a way to solder that I don't like. Next up is diodes. So let's get into those guys. I have four diodes and one inductor. Let's see. A couple of different kinds of diodes. Uh, one is a plastic body. This should be a 1N5817. 1N5817 written on there. And then these are the glass bodies. As you can see, they both have uh, kind of an outline on them. Hard to get that in focus. See, the glass bodies are kind of orange with a black band, and then the plastic one is black with a silver band. And on the silk screen, let's see if I can find one, um, D3. So you can see it's got a little bit of a band on it, and D2 has a little bit of a band on it. And all you do is match up the band on the diode with the band on the board. So let's get those guys in. All right, those are all in. Um, I have been taught that diodes can be a little heat sensitive, so I went around once with a little tiny dab and then went around a second time and hit them up a second time just to be on the safe side. Um, the other thing is that the silk screen and the footprint on the board is a little bit bigger than where the legs lined up on the diode, so I played around with the pliers just to get a little bit nicer of a uh, lay, well, as much nicer as I could. So that's okay, um, those are soldered on. Next thing to go on is an inductor. This is a little bit fatter than a resistor, and I don't know if it makes any difference or not, but it's green in color. And in the instructions, it says brown, black, black, gold, or the last band could be silver, so it would be brown, black, black, silver. So those colors have a pretty good contrast, and they're good. So let's get that one put in. Okay, that one wasn't too bad, and that's pretty much the first block of components to install on the board. So that went fairly quickly and not really any surprises there. Like I showed you before in the previous video, the uh, instructions are pretty well laid out. There's a nice little checkbox for this stage of the game. Everything is color coded. So there it is. So thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for the next part in the series.